Hello, my name is Kai, and I will be doing um, assignments from Program Methodology Class CS106A. I believe that this course is a terrific class. If you have the chance to look at the lectures and view the website, you can find a lot of resources. Uh, I personally have been going through some issues trying to navigate through some of the assignments, and had I known more about it or known more tricks to it, I would have been able to accomplish it faster and uh, with less complications. But um, here I am making these videos to help you figure out how to do these assignments swiftly and with better understanding. Now the first thing that you're going to need is the uh, software called Eclipse. And if you don't have the Stanford version, you can definitely download any other version. Just make sure you have the Stanford uh, version plugins so that you can have the same run buttons at the top. Um, that doesn't come standard with the normal Eclipse. And let's begin. So basically, the first thing that you're going to go through in the course is something called Carol the Robot. Now, Carol the Robot is something that's designed uh, to kind of help and teach you how to use and get a better understanding of how Java works. And Java is object oriented, so you get to use methods and move things around, and it's a lot easier to put programs together and hot swap uh, methods if you want to use it in another program. But um, basically, um, you'll start off with an assignment, and in the first assignment, you have to know about a few things before you get started. And pretty much, <clears throat> Stanford packages a jar file that contains all of the little methods and all the little things that that Carol can do in his world and so basically the assignment that you get which is a zip file that says assignment one and actually let me just go ahead and put that in go to import and you browse find the folder and you can actually uh, let's see here we go you can actually import that and take a look at some of the um, files that Stanford has given to you. So pretty much the first assignment that you have here is called uh, Collect Newspaper Carol. So with collecting the newspaper Carol, pretty much you have this world where this little guy right here named Carol is pretty much in a 2D world. And here in this example, you want to move Carol outside the box to this uh, diamond shape which they call a beeper. Now once you travel to this diamond shape beeper um, you have to pick it up and then go back to your starting point. So here we go. On the left side there are the default packages. One of them will say collect newspaper carol. You will double click on that and you pretty much have your um, your, your file that you have to work with. Okay, so to kind of help you out, I will go ahead and put the reference card right next to it so you can see what Carol can do. Now the first thing you want to notice is that on the top it says import stanford.carol.star. That, um, that is the packages that uh, Stanford has made to operate Carol. And in order to use that uh, package or part of that package, uh, once you make the file, which is public class collect newspaper carol, you want to go ahead and extend a subclass called carol. Now, what carol does, and it would have been nice if someone told me this, but when you extend, uh, when it extends carol, carol comes with four basic moves, and those moves are move, turn left, put beeper, and pick beeper. Now, you don't have to worry too much on how they actually work, but just know that what they do is what they do. Like the word move means that it's going to move uh, by one space. Turn left will rotate the carol uh, 90 degrees to the left. Uh, put beeper implies that the carol can drop a diamond shaped beeper, and then the pick beeper allows the carol to pick up any beeper that is in the world. Now, basically, again, going back to the assignment, we want to be able to move the carol outside the box, so we have to create an algorithm. Now the algorithm here pretty much can be in any way. You can have the carol move around in the box, move the carol move forward to the right and to the left, make the carol move down to the right and then you know down to the, up, down to the left and then straight, straight, straight. Um, all these can work, but then just starting with what we already know, 
we know that we only have a move and we only have a turn left. So just for now, let's go ahead and devise an algorithm that allows Carol to operate and accomplish the task of picking up the newspaper. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and move the Carol uh, forward twice. So in order to do that, I would just type in move with my parentheses, okay? And then type move again. Now notice how there's like a little red squiggly underneath my move, okay? So I actually forgot to tell you to do one more thing, which is you gotta type in your public void run, okay? This is pretty much uh, the main um, code that you need to type in to get your program started. So it initializes the program so it actually uh, operates. So you have to do it all in the public void run. Uh, later on, there are some variations of this, but for now, uh, you just got to stick with public void run. Now the first thing again, we want to go ahead and move forward once, move forward again, and then we got to move right. But the problem is, is that if you look at our card, it says turn left. And that's what Carol can do. He can only turn left. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do. If we make Carol turn left, he would need to turn left again, left again, um, pretty much turn left three times in order to make one right turn. So we're going to go ahead and put turn left with a turn left. And one more turn left. Oops. And then once he's in the pop proper direction, we'll have him move, then turn left again because he needs to face outside. And then he has to move outside. And then now once he's outside, he would be over the beeper. In this case, we want to go ahead and have him pick the beeper. So picking the beeper, pick the beeper, Keep in mind, this is case sensitive, so B has to be uppercase in order for it to work. Um, he would pick up the beeper, and then once you have it picked up, we want him to go back to his original spot, which means he has to turn, so we have him turn left again, turn left again, which is now, which is now he's facing the opposite direction, and then have him move three times, so move, 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 and then we're going to have him go back to his original position, which will have to be on the left. So turn left, turn left, turn left. Um, and once he turns left three times, we'll have him move back into position. And if you really want, uh, we can go ahead and have him turn left back into his original uh, direction, which means another three turn lefts. Not necessary since he's already back in position and the assignment only calls for him to be back in the spot, not necessarily in the same direction. But anyways, um, just for effect, I am going to have him turn it in place so he's facing the same direction from where he started. Now, once you type in the code, this is what we call the algorithm, okay? And so this algorithm will have him move outside, pick up the beeper, turn around, and go back to his original spot and turn in the same direction. So what you usually do is once you type in the code, you would click on this little running man button. Okay, This one is used if you have already run ran the, ran the program before, but if you're running it for the first time, click on the one on the left. Now it's searching and make sure the file that you picked to run would be the same file name. So click Newspaper Carol and what you'll get is a screen with the program. So here we go. We have four functions here, actually five. One where you start the program which uses your algorithm. Two, to load a world which I'll show you how to do later. Three, new world. You can create your, own, uh, create your own world, edit, you can modify it, and also you can toggle the speed on how fast Carol moves in the world. Just so that we want to see him move, we'll go ahead and keep it on the slow pace, and let's check it out. And as you can see, he moves in place, and boom, back in the same spot. And that's how you do assignment uh, question number one. Thank you.